My name's Peter Burrows and today I'm going to go through lighting requirements for trailers. Uh, many people don't realise all the lights that are required on trailers and it's now getting brought up that there are many trailers out there that don't meet the requirements and a lot of manufactured trailers up until, to, up until approvals in 2012 sort of period didn't have the correct lighting. Um, it's one thing we always pick up on a service. Uh, most people think that a set of backlights like this trailer has here is all you require. The actual requirements for these trailers are to have a triangle reflector on the back on either side. You must have a stop tail indicator which most people can do with a small square light. With this trailer it exceeds over 1.3 meters wide. When it exceeds over 1.3 meters wide you require a fog light. This can be centrally mounted to the right hand side or on both sides. It can't be fitted on the left hand side only. Um, this trailer was manufactured after 2012, so it's a brake trailer. If the trailer has brakes, it requires reverse lights. This has reverse lights here. And the trailer also requires illumination for the number plates. Uh, this is done quite simply with two uh, lights, uh, whereas sometimes a number plate is offset and sat at the side of the main combination light and lit from that and an additional light or square lights are lit from above. This is the requirement you need for the rear of the trailer however on the side most people don't realize but every trailer must have um, amber reflectors down the side. There must be one within the rearmost meter of the trailer and there must be one in the middle third of the trailer and there can be no more than three meter gaps between that the next light and uh, the next light to the tow vehicle. All trailers require uh, side reflectors then uh, you can put one on one side of a small trailer up to about 2.8 meters because there must be one uh, within the rearmost meter of the trailer. There must be one in the middle third of the trailer and there can be no more than three meter gaps between uh, each reflector or the reflectors and the tow vehicle. If a trailer is up to 2.8 meters long, uh, if you put a reflector one meter from the back that falls in the middle third and also means that it doesn't require uh, any additionals to get to the front of the vehicle. The longer it gets the more reflectors are required. This particular trailer has two side reflectors so that there's no more than three meter gap from the reflect between the reflectors and the uh, reflector and the tow vehicle and this also gives one in the middle third. The longer it gets the more you require. Uh, when it exceeds six meters total length, which this trailer doesn't, it also requires side marker lights. Uh, these, these can be lights with reflectors built in, which is quite common. Um, and these uh, are mounted in exactly the same way as the reflectors with the same dimensions of no more than a meter from the rear and the three meter gaps and one in the middle third. The front of all trailers require front white reflectors. Uh, there must be white reflectors pointing forwards. Uh, when the trailer exceeds 1.6 meters wide uh, these white reflectors must be illuminated. The front marker lights um, and they must be mounted within 150 mil from the outside of the trailer. If you've got a larger trailer like this and a modern trailer 
uh, that's braked. It is wired up on a 13 pin plug because the reverse lights aren't powered off a standard seven pin plug. If you need any more information on lighting requirements, if you need to buy any lights or uh, any of the wiring equipment to wire them, please see our website in the links below and we are more than happy to help on the phone and design a wiring kit or a lighting kit to suit your trailer.